morning YouTube so I'd like to update you guys on just a couple things that have been going on in the container garden and one of them I really don't like The beans, um, the bean leaves here going up this, this trellis, this is the only side that was still alive um, after all this tremendous heat. But it, it wasn't the heat, oddly enough, that um, has started to mess up the beans. It's the ants. This thing has created a very efficient aphid highway. The ants get to come up here and they just bring their aphids wherever they want to all along the trellis. So everything that's been tied to the trellis, including that squash right there, have been efficiently um, covered with aphids thanks to the easier mode of transportation. It kept the ants off the porch and that kept them out of sight of, I guess, you know, poison and all the other the stuff that I had laid out for the ants. So, yeah. They, they didn't get their uh, mound killed off like I expected because they decided, you know, we'll eat. We'll just go the faster route. Isn't that what you build highways for? So I've begun chopping down uh, the bean trellis because, honestly, it, it, it was pretty. And it was going to be pretty once, you know, it covered both sides. But honestly enough is enough and I don't want to ruin everything else just to get some pretty beans right so the trellis thing big fail and we come to the hybrid squash that um, or zucchini at this point I don't know which it is because I did not realize there was a seed in this pot that was you know flowers now, of course, there's also a tomato that was, you know, a teeny tiny little thing, and now it's, you know, getting some legs. And uh, we still have two sunflowers that made it through all those storms and the beatings, but the other ones just kept getting blown over and knocked over until they were nothing, pulverized. So anyway, this hybrid squash here, look, that thing is pretty big. I saw an ant crawling on it this morning don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing just yet but if we get one out of it that survives that's good but it looks like we've got two more growing back there my marigolds are harboring a fugitive see this there's actually no more in here. I've been using ivory and straight up water. So ivory dish detergent and water. And I just sprayed a stink bug about three minutes ago. And here he is. You guys get a good look at him. I know, seen one dead stink bug sing, I've seen them all, but you know what? I told you, you know, mess with my food, you mess with me. It's bad enough, you know, the heat screwing with my stuff. I don't want the trifecta of bugs, heat, and drought. And just so you guys know where we're at, this tomato most of the fungus had been cut out as you can see all the cuts and this was way after the cuttings oh speaking of cutting the last time you guys saw this cutting he was about right here like no kidding so I'm not sure how the heat and drought have been working for him other than he's growing like crazy so I'm happy about that I thought our spider was gone She's not gone. She has resurfaced in a huge web, and I don't know if I can get it. Oh, I can see the web. Can you guys see her? 
She's already got like four or five maybe moths or something. Wow. Well, that's all I have. It was just a really quick update on just a couple things that have been um, going on, things I was gonna change or decided to show you. So uh, stick around. Um, there are gonna be a couple of changes to the channel. Good, I hope.